Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. There is no intro in this video. I am jumping straight into inflation of my balloons. I am inflating two balloons at the same time into different sizes, tying them together into pairs, repeating that process and then clustering balloons. Each cluster has four pairs of balloons. This is the day before of the actual event. I am making two organic balloon columns. I am using my knot lamps. I love them and will link them in the description under this video. I am approximately measuring how many clusters of balloons one stand can fit. I ended up fitting five clusters, inflating more balloons for a second knot lamp and bagging everything in white large bags for easier transportation. Inflating more white balloons, but this time I am creating smaller clusters, three pairs of balloons together. Also, you can't forget about five inch balloons. That's what I'm doing here. And the client wanted to use blue slate color in these columns, just like a peekaboo, nothing too much, a little bit of color. Decided to inflate a few 11 inch slate blue balloons just in case. With white and slate blue, client wanted to add bubble balloons. It's very important for bubble balloons to be stretched in order to have a very nice and even round shape. Once your bubble balloon is stretched, inflate without no worries. It's a little bit tricky to tie these balloons because the neck of balloons from bubble balloons are not stretchy and they don't have lips so it's it's gonna take you a second to figure out how to tie them also if your bubble balloon turned out to be a little bit lopsided keep adding air but don't over inflate little by little time to pack the rest of the balloons i am using my second bag as you can tell i love to use several bags to pack my balloons for a job that i'm doing because it's very convenient one bag i open and i know that i have bigger clusters second bag all the fillers and smaller clusters super convenient for me quick a glance at my suitcase i always pack my suitcase exactly the same for every single installation that i make i always grab balloons extra balloons that i would need for that certain installation hand pumps fishing line glue dashes tape 260s electric inflators rubber bands extension cords i am trying to think of every single scenario that i can't have on that certain spot i am grabbing everything and even more than i would think i would need for that install To fit everything for this installation, we had to use my husband's work van. It was a little tight. I over blew the balloons, but we made it work. Just had to push a bit and shut the doors. Good to go. Okay, so we're ready to leave. We're all packed. And this is the event that I already built a balloon installation for. The first one was about like two years ago. So this is literally a redemption time. I am so excited to redeem myself, to uh, make something awesome for them. If you remember this video right here. This setup was an extreme failure for me because I used Walmart balloons and they were horrible. Do not ever use Walmart balloons for outdoor events, especially when it's hot and when it's sunny and when it's humid. Just don't use it. Believe me, I've learned the hard way. Um, so yeah, let's go pack it in because we're running really late. I wanted to be there a lot earlier. Uh, in reality, they do give us like 30 minutes to set up, which is doable maybe i'm trying to 
So wish me luck. I'm excited. Let's go. Time to unload and I am jumping straight into construction without wasting any time. I am grabbing larger clusters of balloons, feeding them on my knot lamps and to lock the knot lamp, I need to cross two balloons together. I am repeating the same process for my second knot lamp. Inflating more bigger size clusters of balloons to build the bottom of these columns. I'm attaching extra clusters of balloons by tying necks of balloons from the columns and from the newer clusters together. I am adding a little bit more height to these columns by adding more clusters on top and going straight to my smaller clusters to fill in spaces and build the volume on these columns using rubber bands to attach my slate blue balloons and used rubber bands to attach my bubble balloons. Gates to the pool got opened and we transported everything to the spot where the event is going to take place. Right there on the spot, I started putting finishing touches. I inflated a few 16 inch balloons and gave these columns more curves and more volume. I also added a five inch filler balloons and just put the finishing touches on the whole thing. For some spots, I even used glue dashes. I absolutely love glue dashes. They are the best glue dots out there on the market. I will link them in the description under this video. Yeah, hey, last time was horrible. They were popping left and right. I remember you were going back and forth with them too, uh, like well, blowing. Don't, I don't think in a hot day like this, you're using those uh, confetti ones or whatever those inside. Well, yes, and they're not think, good quality. I don't think it's a good idea to be outdoors. They were from Amazon at that time. I thought those balloons were the best things in this life. <laughs> How I was wrong. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. By the way, you guys, this is our today june 6th is our wedding anniversary today we are celebrating 12 years of marriage happy anniversary honey happy anniversary 12 years 12 years <laughs> yay all right going to local creepery to celebrate our wedding anniversary right after we finish the balloons he's wearing gray i'm wearing all black <laughs> That's a wrap, you guys. Uh, we just left the place uh, where we ate at. Uh, it was a different experience today. Usually we love that place, but I don't know, something different, right? Anyways, we are going to my mom's house to pick up the kids. Um, uh, later on, we probably will go uh, to pick up uh, the stands from balloons. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun to watch. I know I pro I'm probably really close and personal with you right now because I am using my big Canon camera and I don't have that screen to look at myself. What is going on? <laughs> but anyways, yes, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you back in my next video. Bye.